Okay. <coughs> okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Hey, what's up, uh, Sassy Go? What's up, Jimmy? Evening, everyone. Okay, so, yeah, I was trying to... I was trying to, um, stream every day, but that didn't pull through. I was so tired the last couple of days. I, was, I wanted to go stream seven days in a row, but I think that was too... I, I think that would have been too much anyway. So, uh... We're going... I mean, we'll just, we'll just settle, settle with... Streaming for like what five days? Yeah, five days a week of uh, this week. But we got us we got we got a goodie I want to show off. And um, yeah, I definitely want to show off this goodie whenever uh, a few more people come in. So <coughs> in the meantime, we are going to be continuing with Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest, and we're going to be I think we're going to try to get the Big Ron Sword. I've never done this before. I've never done this before, but I've, um, I've never gotten the Big Ron Sword right right at the beginning whenever you become an adult. I've never done that before. I've gotten the Big Ron Sword like maybe a little bit later, just a tiny bit later, but I've never gotten it like from, from the very beginning. So we're going to try to get that in the very beginning. I can't wait to do that. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, we're going to try to get Big Ron Sword, and we're going to, I'm, I'm going to be so, it's going to be so fun fighting the, all the the like the beginning bosses from in a, uh, for Adult Wink Link with Big Ron Sword because I've never done that. I never. I don't think I've ever fought. I don't. I don't think I've ever fought Phantom Ganon uh, Dwarf with the Big Ron Sword. Maybe Volvagia. I'm not sure, but yeah, we'll try to get uh, Big Ron Sword as soon as possible for hopefully by this stream. But hopefully you guys had a good week. A uh, good week. Hope you guys are enjoying the weekend. And, uh, yeah. And I haven't been going to the gym. I really need to. I look, I look, it looks like I'm regaining weight again, but I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna for sure, like, go, go on a steady, <laughs> steady schedule in October. So, but I am going to, I'm gonna try to go tomorrow. I'm gonna try to go tomorrow. So, yes, we will be going to the gym hopefully tomorrow. I know I posted pictures of those Oreo ice cream sandwiches, but that's only that I'm only eating like them whenever I'm like, you know, <laughs> everyone once in a while. So that way I don't go out to get something sweet, you know. So, oh my god. Let's let's go ahead and dig into some Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest. Okay. There we go. Let me go start. And hey, what's up? What's up, Bungalow? What's up, Bung? Dog Champ. Oh my gosh. I know you've been busy with work. I know. I know. I um. I understand if you can't come to streams all the time. Because I know you're busy with work and busy getting yelled at by Cabana, right? Uh, do you, do you, does Cabana yell at you a lot at work? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But does she? <laughs> um, but hey, what's up, Bung? We should, uh... We should go ahead and make a new file. We can make a. We should make a copy of this file. Yeah, just in case we mess up. So yeah, we're. I'm the best employee. I don't get yelled out. Oh really? Really? Okay. <laughs> just. I'm just joking. I know you don't get yelled at. All right. Let's see. So. Okay. I mean, we do. Do we have enough people? Do we have enough people by now? I mean, I guess Bungalow is the one who wants to see it the most, right? <laughs> but I want to wait until, like, some more people come by. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if anyone else is going to come by. All right, so... <coughs> we have Ichigo. We have Jimmy. We have Bungalow so far. So, yeah. We have we have some people coming by. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Bungalow. You're going to love it. You're going to love what I have. It's... 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 I mean, since we're fans of this franchise... Since we're fans of this franchise, of course you're gonna love it, right? Of course you're gonna love it. How big of a Zelda fan are you, Bungalow? How big of a Zelda fan are you? Because, like, I know you love Metroid. I know you love a lot of Nintendo stuff, but what about Zelda stuff? What about Zelda stuff, Bungalow? Oh, my gosh. All right, so... Oh, man. Pretty big. Yeah. I'm a huge Zelda fan, too. Okay, so let's see. Let me let me pause this. 
I hate I hate these Zelda dungeon pages. I hate it whenever they show footage of the game, like 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 someone else is streaming it or something like that. I hate that. I hate it when they do that. I mean, I'm not looking. I'm not looking directly at these at these videos, but like they show up, and I don't want to see it see it at all. So let's see what we need to do to get this all squared away. So we need to get the start with the pocket egg, which we've done already. After one night passes, a, cu a pocket cuckoo hatches from the collected egg and needs to be brought to Talon. So we need to go find Talon soon. We need to wait for the stupid egg to, to hatch too. I don't remember, I don't know how long it's been it's been uh, inside the incubating. I don't know how long it's been incubating. But honestly, I thought you need to have like warmth. I think I thought you need to have constant warmth for a um for uh, an egg to hatch. You can't just like leave the egg to its own devices and like in in Link's like cold um pa um pouch and shit. I mean, I guess I guess Link's body warmth might might warm keep it warm. That's true. Link's body warmth won't, won't do the trick. Is this where I get out? Is it... Eat the egg. Eat the egg. I mean, I wonder if I wonder if cuckoo eggs taste better than chicken eggs. That's a good point. That's a good point, Bungalow. I wonder if cuckoo eggs taste better than chicken eggs. What does cuckoo taste like? I don't know. Like, I mean, they look just like chickens, right? They look just like chickens. I don't know. I don't know what they taste like. Let's Okay, let's take a look at the cuckoo. A pocket egg. An egg given to you by the cuckoo lady. It's just like a normal egg, but much smaller. Hmm. Much smaller, though? I mean, it does fit in your pocket. It does fit in your pocket. That's why it's called a pocket cuckoo. Or pocket egg. It does fit in your pocket. So, of course, you can, you're going to keep it warm pretty well. I wonder what a cuckoo tastes like as well. They, they probably taste... They probably taste like chicken. <laughs> they probably taste like chicken, Bungalow. They probably taste like chicken. That's probably what they... That, that's probably what they taste like. I say so. Who sleeps in a house in Kakariko Village? Oh, and we need to go to Kaka, go back to Kaka, Kaka Village. We need to go back to Kaka Village. Oh, they need to turn up the game. There was that loud enough? Listen, listen. She, shut, she needs to shut the fuck up. Kaka Village. <laughs> Kaka Village. I wonder what's going on in the forest right now. I'm worried about Sarah too. Okay, okay, okay. She must be somewhere in the Lost Woods. Let's go check her secret place. Remember where she touched you her song. Okay, okay, okay. I can I mean, I like Sari and all, but not right now. Look, a cuckoo hatched from the egg you were incubating. It's the miracle of life. Finally. Look, we got a cuckoo. A pocket cuckoo. Um, the cook, <laughs> the cuckoo that hatched from the pocket egg, it's it fits in the palm of your hand. Cute. Let's go eat it. Let's go eat it. Oh my gosh, it sounds so del. It looks so delicious. Yummy. Oh my gosh, I would so eat it. I I would make I you know I would make a chicken. A, I would make cuckoo. I would make cuckoo and waffles with it. <laughs> That's fucked up. I wonder if you can make maple syrup. Can you make... Can, I mean, I'm almost sure you can make waffles in Hy Hyrule, right? But does Hyrule have maple trees to make uh, maple syrup? I always called it a cuckoo, but it's definitely spelled cuckoo. Do you think it's spelled cuckoo? I always call it cuckoo. I always called it cuckoo. Oh, I threw, I, threw the, I threw the rock at the old man. I'm so fucked up. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw the rock at the old man. I just got so excited <laughs> talking about cuckoos. Okay, let's go. Let's go find lazy ass Talon, and let's go get the stupid horse too. <laughs> let's go get the stupid horse. Let's go find that dumb horse, uh, Epona. But yeah, how is 
How have things been on your end, Bungalow? How have things been on your end? But yeah, we, I do have I do have the goodie that right in front of me. We just have to wait for a few more people to come in. Let's see. Oh man, I don't remember how to get how to find Talon because everything's all re reverse and shit. I think this is where he lives. Yeah, there he is. There he is. All people have hardships in their past that they would rather not no one f found out about. Look at the bearded man over there. I bet even trouble someone like him has had his share of troubles in the past. Look at him, the man with the beard. I think he was fired from his job at the ranch. He's always just lazing around, morning, noon, and night. He is an awfully carefully carefree guy during such hard times. Look at that lazy ass fuck. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Because of because everyone got kicked out of, uh, or maybe everyone didn't want to live in um, Hyrule Castle Town anymore because because of all the shit that's been going on in in Hyrule Castle Town, like it's, it got ruined. Look, now they have the now they have to fit everyone inside the village in, inside these inside like these already cramped houses, inside these already cramped huts. So they have to make bunk beds now for everyone. Oh my god! And then and then um, Talon has his own bed. That's, that's, for a lazy guy, he doesn't deserve his own bed. He, he deserves to sleep on the top bunk like everyone else does. Most everyone else, anyway. Zzz, Malin, doing all right. Mumble, mumble. Sorry to make you worry. Okay, well, let's go wake up this, this lazy shit. Let's go, wait, let's wake up this lazy shit. One tarnation. Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? Ingo took over Lon Lon Ranch. They call it Ingo Ranch nowadays. I was kicked out of there, and look at me now. My girl Malin still works at the ranch. I'm worried about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Ingo Ranch. So why do we have to wake up Talon? That's what I want to know now. Link can now go to Cuckoo Lay to gather a special... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now that we woke up Talon, I guess she's supposed... To... She wanted me to w wake up Talon. That's probably what it was. Okay, so Bungalow. Are you still there? I don't want to, like, accident... Like, like, show it off and then find out you're not there. Okay, you're there? Okay. <sighs> well, just... When one more person comes in, when one more person comes in, we'll go ahead and show it off. I'm just waiting for that one more person. Let's see. Let's see. Um, What am I doing? Oh yeah, we need to go talk to the cuckoo lady. So where's the cuckoo lady again? She's cuckoo over here. She's over here. She's always cuckoo over here. Is it really pronounced cuck cuckoo? I don't know. But it's definitely spelled Kukko. Look at the item. Let's take a look. I mean, I always spell it pronounced as Cuckoo. But I know it looks like Kukko. Whatever. Kukko. Kukko. Hey, what's up, Taylor? Hey there. Okay, now we got we got one more person. Okay. We got one more person. Can you guys hear the game okay? Hold on. There we go. I, th I thought it was too low. Too low. Okay, so now we got one more person to come in. Let me go. Okay, let me go ahead and show off the new new goodie that I got. All right. Objection! Okay, we got my goodie from the mail that I got a few days ago. Say, hey, what's up, Taylor? Oh my gosh. <laughs> So here we go, guys. We're gonna go uh, go ahead and unbox this. Oh my gosh! I guess I'll unbox it like this. Okay, that makes more sense. But yeah. How how is how's the evening been for you, Taylor? How's your how's your week been for you? I know where it is. I know you know where it is. But we gotta keep it a keep it a surprise still. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what's in here. Hmm. I wonder what is in here. I'm still waiting. You're still waiting on yours. Wait, do you, you also ordered it too. You also ordered it too, bungalow. I didn't. 
know you ordered it. I thought you ordered the other thing. Oh, cool. Let's see. It, if it's what I think it is, yes. Okay. I see. <laughs> Might be the other thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, so you ordered two things. Okay, okay. Here we go. It's a big, bad toy store. They sell, like, Voltron, Star Trek, Operation Monster Force. Let's see. Um, SHF... Uh, oh, oh, SH Fig Arts. I get stuff from them all the time. Oh, you do? I don't really buy... I don't really buy figurines that often. G.I. Joe. Oh, yeah, I can see why. G.I. Joe, Yu-Gi-Oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, and then I, I guess I'll show this off, too. Oh, and they have more shit. Um, from Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, Star Wars, Transformers and shit. There we go. Big Bad Toy Store. All right, guys. Here we go. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Not to take off the packaging. See, my capture card only works on PC. I'm mad about it. Uh, no refund, but thankfully it was less than $50. Oh, that sucks, Taylor. Yeah, hopefully you can figure out uh, your capture card situation for recording. But yeah, hopefully you can figure it out. All right, guys. Here's what we've been waiting for for like like almost a year. Oh my God! It looks so nice. Oh my God! We got a uh, Sound Hill three. He we got a Sound Hill three Heather Mason figurine. Ooh! Oh my God! <laughs> Nine inch replica statue. Yep, that's what I ordered. Oh, that's what you ordered too. Oh my gosh, bungalow. It's nice. It is so nice. Oh my gosh. Look at Heather. She looks so sexy. Oh my god. I mean, she looks so cool. <laughs> I don't I don't even know if she's Yeah. She looks so cool. I meant she looks so cool. Um <laughs> But she does look cool. That looks great. It does look great. It looks nice. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Yeah, so here we go, guys. We got Heather Mason from Silent Hill 3. Oh my gosh. Let's open it up. Let's open it up. It's meant to be opened, right? Let's see. It's meant to be opened. Yep. Yo, 9 inch website says 10. Really? Yeah, it says... I don't know. I mean... It's it's not a big deal to me. I mean, as long as it looks nice on the shelf, that's all that matters to me. Ooh, ooh, looks very nice. Ooh, let me see if I can take it off. I don't. I rarely ever buy stuff like this. I rarely ever buy stuff like this. But I since but since I have shelves now, I might as well get some stuff like this. To make my shelves look nicer, you know. Let's see if I can actually get get this off. Oh, it has tape. Yeah, it usually has tape. I, I usually see. I was trying to look for the tape to get rid of it. Okay, so I, I guess I'll use the scissors too. But thank you, Taylor. Thank you. So it only works on PC. So are you going to be doing your recordings on your on your PC then? Are you going to be using your recordings on PC? Yeah, that's smart of them to add tape on. I think they usually put on tape for these kind of things, anyway. There we go. Ooh, I'm excited! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh! Heather, she's been inside this plastic bag for like how many months? Oh my gosh, she's gonna suffocate! Oh my god! Don't suffocate, Heather. Oh my god, this looks so good. 
This looks very exquisite. Oh my gosh. Doesn't this look really nice? Oh my gosh. It looks really nice. So I know where I'm going to place it. I know, I definitely know where I'm going to place it. I'm going to place it... I'm going to place it like, you know... Hmm. Let me see. Give me one second. Let me go clean off the shelf. So that way it doesn't get all messed up. I think I'm going to place it here for now. But I'm, I'm thinking about placing it next to Leon too, but... I don't know. But yeah, let me... Let's see. There's Robbie the Rabbit, too. There's Robbie the Rabbit. And then there's Heather. She's holding her gun. I think she's, like, probably about to shoot, um, Douglas. And this is probably the scene where she's, like... I don't think it's the scene, but it looks like she's about to shoot Douglas. It looks pretty nice. Can you take this off? I wonder if you can take it off. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the shelf. Oh my god, it fits so perfectly. It fits... Per well, almost perfectly. It fits almost perfectly on the shelf. It's a nice addition. It's definitely a nice addition. You know what? I'm gonna place it here. I'm gonna- I'm definitely gonna place it here then. Yeah, this makes more sense to place it here. Cause like, if I place it next to Leon, it's gonna be on the two shelves above. And it, you're not gonna be able to see Heather. I might as well place it here next to Cactar so that way you can see Heather. Yeah, and that makes sense. That makes sense. So that- yeah, it's a good- it's a good idea that I did that. Let's see, um, yeah, I have to, then I have to email myself to get the game recordings. Um, thankfully it's just the game recording I have to do on PC. Oh, I see, I see. Also, back, had to comfort Milo. Uh, he was howling about something. Oh, no! Milo! What a, what does Milo have to, uh, what was Milo barking about, or howling about? Definitely at the theme park with that base. Yeah, it's at the theme park. She's probably shooting, uh, probably about to aim at Douglas. Put them together so you have two blonde babes. Oh my gosh. Wait, who's the other blonde babe? I thought, I thought about Le Leon's not blonde. <laughs> Unless you're, wait, who are you talking about? Leon, Leon's not blonde. I guess he's blonde in the brain, right? He's blo blonde in the brain. Probably missing dad. Yeah. That sucks. Hopefully your dad will come back soon. But thank you. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm glad that you like the Heather uh, figure. Yeah. He if not dirty blonde. I thought his hair was brown. I thought his hair is brown. So I always think of Link's hair as dirty blonde. <laughs> All right, guys. Leon is dirty blonde. Leon's dirty blonde? He look, His hair always looks brown to me. I don't know. People... I don't know what dirty blonde is anymore. Hey, so Ichigo, did you like it? Did you like my Heather statue? Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Thank you, thank you. I guess I'll take another glug. Ugh. Yeah, did you, um, yeah, it does, I think I'm, I'm just gonna place it here. I think I'm just gonna place Heather here. It makes more sense. It's okay, not a big fan of Heather, though. <gasps> How dare you, Ichigo? How dare you fucking say that? I'm gonna fucking ban your ass. <gasps> I'm gonna fucking fucking ban your ass. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Ichigo. I'm not gonna ban you. Can't you're not a big fan of Heather? Well, no, seriously though, how come you're not a big fan of Heather, Ichigo? <laughs> not judging, I'm not judging you that much. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm not judging you. Okay, I leave now, then bye, then bye, bye guys. Leave. No, Ichigo, don't, come back, come back, I'm not mad at you. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. Ichigo, I, I'm, no, seriously, seriously, Ichigo, don't leave. Sassy go, come back. No. <laughs> Ichigo, no, seriously, what, uh, what, uh, what's the, re why do you, why do you, why are you not a big fan of Heather? I just want to know. Not a big fan of horror games, to be honest. Oh, I see. I was thinking about doing horror month, but I'm, 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 cons I'm considering it. I don't know. Just that, so that way I can take a small break from the marathon. We can just do some horror month games. <laughs> Heather reminds me too much of Leon. Both get on my nerves so bad. Oh no! 
I love Leon too. I actually love Leon too. Oh yeah, we need to go talk to the cuckoo lady. That's what I was trying to do. Please make this cuckoo happy, okay? Oh wait. I did. Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. He must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo. If you're interested. Its name is Kojiro, and it used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. Since my brother has gone, it's strange. But Kojiro has stopped crow crowing. Do you want to keep Kojiro? What if it happens if I say no? It looks as if you really like the other cuckoo. Okay, you can keep it for a while. Let's see. Okay, so... I guess it's just gonna repeat the same shit. You returned the pocket cuckoo and got Kojiro in return. Unlike other cuckoos, Kojiro rarely crows. I wanted to do a horror 3DS marathon, but that ain't ever gonna happen. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of really cool uh, horror games on the 3DS. There's a lot of really cool horror games on the Wii as well. There's so many uh, horror, great horror games from the past. In the, on the on the PS1, on the PS2, and, and on the on the uh, on the 3DS and on and the Wii. There's a lot of great ones. But yeah, I think this is gonna yeah, you're gonna stay here, Heather. You're gonna stay here along with and keep and keep keep the Cactar Company. You're, you're gonna keep the Cactar Company. You too, Robbie. You're gonna keep uh, the Cactar Company too, Robbie. Take Kojiro to the map to the location marked with on the map subscreen. You may find someone there who knows this bird personally. Alright, let's go. Okay, so what's the next place? So I need to go get the um Oh yeah, so we need to go talk to the brother. So this is where we Okay. So where do I get the fire? Now I need to figure out how to get the fire. So let's see. Requires before you tackle the trading sequence, there are a few requires and recommendations. Free King Zora from the Red Ice. Acquire Pona. Plant magic beans at Zoro's Domain and Death Mountain Trail, which I've, I've already done that. Uh, let's see. So where do I go free King Zora from the with the red uh red, from the red ice? So where do I go get blue ice in uh Ocarina of Time? How do I get blue ice? Or blue blue fire, I guess? Let's see, where would I get it? It's, uh, it's found in the ice cavern of Ocarina of Time. The blue fire can be found in several pedestals around the ice cavern. Uh, bottle, to use the blue fire, must be collected in a bottle. Then use the bottle again to drop the fire on the floor. Of the... Yeah, but where does it get sold? I know you can, you can buy it too. You can buy blue fire. Let's see. I need a blue flame to thaw the Zora, Zora King. You might as well finish the ice cavern. Resource found, you see all it's froze up to the still water, but then there are ice platforms you can jump up. Mm. Or buy it at shops if your wallet is big enough. Find it in the ice cavern or buy it at the. 300 rupees?! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no. That's gonna be hard to get. So I'm gonna have to I need a free bottle. Oh man. I guess I'll go I'll go go ahead and get rid of the uh I'll go ahead and get rid of the, this milk. Does anyone ever pronounce milk as milk? I've never heard anyone pronounce it as milk. I always I usually hear it pronounced as milk. That's weirder when people pronounce it as milk though. I'm tempted to say screw my horror mar marathon, sadly. I mean, do you have like, any other horror games to play as well, Ichigo? Let me go, um... I'm not a lot of good ones. Oh, I see. Oh, 
Oh, that sucks, Ichigo. Alright, so... I guess what we'll do is we'll go to Zoro's... No, no, we'll go to Epona. We'll go to Lalan Ranch and then free Epona. That's what we'll do. Let's go free Epona. Man, I hate having to, like, roll around like this. But it's the fastest way, isn't it? No. Alright, let's go, let's go. We need to go roll into Lon Lon Ranch. <coughs> Alright. Oh, I can still go inside here. Let's see. Oh! Wait, I can still go this way. <sighs> oh my god, I feel so much better after going to the restroom. So wait, are there Skulltolas? Are there more Skulltolas in the adult? Like, all the Skulltolas, like, there's different kinds of Skull... There's... There's... There's other Skulltolas in the adult timeline, right? Or, or in the adult, um... Adult era? Compared to the child era, right? Like, all the, all the Skulltolas are not gonna be in both eras. They're all gonna be divided to the, the child era and the adult era, right? Isn't that how it works? Let's see. Where is the, where is that? Where is the Where's Malon? There she is. Oh, a visitor. It's been a long time since you, we've since we had a visitor here. Where did you come from? Since Ganondorf came, people in the castle town have gone. Places have been ruined, and monsters are wandering everywhere. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Everyone seems to be turning evil. Oh, you got that right. You got that right, Malon. Just just the same in in my in my time too. People are just turning evil these days. But Dad, he was kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. If I disobey Mr. Ingo, he will treat the horses so badly. So there's nothing I can do. If only I could play their favorite song for them. Oh, I already read all this shit. Good. It's a. The sucky thing is that it doesn't let me skip the whole thing. It only skips me. Lets me skip one line at a time. Well, where's the douchebag Ingo? Where's Douchego? That's his, that's his name, Douchego. There are some people in Kakariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but don't be ridiculous. That guy Talon was weak. I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy into this place. I don't want any strangers like you saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognized my obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse with and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride one of my fine horses? If you pay me ten rupees, you can ride. I don't ride. All right then, scram, you little punk. Fuck you, bitch. Let's see. Let's go sing. Let's go play Malon's song. Or opponent's song. Whatever. Na na na. Na 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 na. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> what? What, Roske? What? What do you want? What? I guess I'm supposed to race him first? But hey, what's up, Roske? Oh man, let's I don't remember it being this hard. Your face? Like what wait, what's wrong with my face? What's wrong with my face, Roske? Hold on. Oh no, it's not working! Hold on, give me one second. I don't know why it's not Hi Booey. What's wrong with my face? What's wrong with it? Are you just joking? I don't see anything wrong with my face. 
I hope you're joking, Rosuke. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, nothing. Okay, give me one second. It's not working, the little intro thing. Hold on.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, so, Rosuke, say something again, say something again. Yeah, say something again, so that way we can make sure that it, your your intro works. I fixed the, the little bot thing, the Streamlabs bot. Are you there now? Oh my gosh. So, either, I, mean, I don't even know if you're still there, Bungalow, but if, you, if you're still there, Bungalow, you... Uh, go ahead and say something too, so that way we can see if you, your th your thing works. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what I do today? I uh, <coughs> I went to work. Well, I mean, I worked from home. And then, um, <laughs> now Ichi needs an intro, lol. Yeah, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, uh, you <coughs> so yeah, if, in the channel point redeem section, you can, if you redeem, uh, 20,000 points, then I, I can make an intro for you. I should make it 25,000. I think 20,000 is too little. I should make it 25,000. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it's um But yeah, it looks like it's working. Thank you, Roski. Oh my gosh, awesome. Yeah, we'll have to make you an intro. I I still have to make an intro for uh Sigma, but he hasn't really figured out what intro he wants. So I'll go ahead and make an intro for you to each go once I'm done with making Sigma's intro. Remember when Coffee Feed did them for free? Remember? Yeah, I did, but now they cost money. Remember when? Na remember now, and they cost money. Hi, Frodo. Hi, what's up, Troldo? You gotta, you gotta, uh, uh, put up the points so that way I can give you some. <laughs> that way I can make an intro for you. Ichi needs a sassy intro. Yes, you do. So I'll, I'll give you the details on what, on how you can make your intro. I'll give you the details, and then, and, and then you can figure out what kind of intro you want after I give you the details. Grats on intro. Have you watched the Evangelion movies? Uh, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. But are, are they worth watching, though? Are they worth watching, though, for, uh, uh, Rosuke? Pretty sure that's illegal. What's illegal? Charging for intros? No, it ain't. But welcome back. Welcome back, Taylor. I'm watching the first one now. Oh, really? What makes you want to watch all of them? What makes you want to watch all of them, Rosuke? I guess I'll have to pay 10 rupees. You want to hear out a ride? Don't listen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Charging people, some people for intros. That ain't illegal. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's see. Let's see. You saw, you saw good art from it. Well, that's cool. Oh, there's, there is a Pona. Okay, so let's see. I guess I'll, I'll try to steal her from steal her from the ranch. Okay, that didn't work. When you wanted this mount, stop and press A. 
Hey, young man, do I know you? I just felt as though I've seen you somewhere before. If you use old target, you can talk to me from horseback. Are you ready to go home so soon? No, I want to ride. Tit. When your time is up, I'll kick you out of here. It's not real money, Frodo. I, he knows it's he knows it's not real money. He's joking. Let's see. Man, I thought I was I was able to like get out get out by just running out like this. I guess that doesn't work. How was I supposed? To, how do I free uh, Pona again? Let me see how how to free Epona. See, free Epona. O O T. So how do I free her again? Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, collect seventy rupees and talk to Ingo. Pay him two rupees to ride a horse, but instead of using the provided horses, call Pona using Epona song. Get some practice with him until the time expires. You can collect two hidden. Blue rupees by hunch jumping over the fences. Pay ten more rupees to return the corral and the fried Epona, but talk to Ingo while you're running her this time. She challenges her. Oh, okay, okay. So that's how it works. Well, there we go. We got we got our money back. We got our money back. You do the race. Yeah, I I, I remember now. Hey, time's up, young man. You only paid 10 rupees. You've played around long enough. Yeah, I know it. I know you have to do the race, but I don't. I, I was trying to figure out how to trigger the race. Okay. Let's try this again. We should have enough money. We should have enough money. Oh, boy. Let's see. Let's get, go ahead and get the opponent again. Yeah, I was thinking about watching the Evangelion movies, but I think just watching the TV show is good enough. Gooey, why aren't you playing Super Mario 65? What is Super Mario 65, e Scheming? Hey, what's up, Scheming? What's Super Mario 65? I mean, we know, I know there's a Super Mario 64, but what's Super Mario 65? Is that a ROM hack? Is that a ROM hack? If it is, we should... I mean, we'll have to play it after the marathon. If you don't know, you don't know. It's a secret game. Only real gamers know. Only real gamers? Let me look this shit up. I wonder if he made it up. He probably made it up scheming. Super Mario 65. Oh, shit. It's a fan game on the Wii. Based off of Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS. This gameplay is similar to them. Ooh. I want to play this. Ooh, shit. After the... Well, I mean, obviously, we're playing... We're doing the Zelda marathon, so we'll have to play this after the marathon. This sounds so fun. Super Mario 65? Oh, shit. What are you playing?